Welcome to Golf Getaway at the Kinlock Club in Taupo, New Zealand. The Kinlock Club is New Zealand's only Jack Nicklaus signature course and is ranked 76th in the world's top 100 courses outside of the United States. In today's show, I get a guided tour from Director of Golf, Tom Long, and I have an amazing hunting, fishing and gourmet adventure at Kinlock's world famous Treetops Lodge. Hi there, I'm Andrew Miramacoom. And I'm Tom Long, Director of Golf here at the Kinlock Club. The Kinlock Club was designed by Jack Nicholas and is a 5,961 metre par 72 championship golf course located in beautiful Taupo in New Zealand. Famous New Zealand golfer Sir Bob Charles, after playing Kinlock for the first time, described it as the number one golf course in New Zealand. And for those unable to play the great Lynx courses of Scotland, Kinlock compares with the best of them. A true Lynx experience with Jack Nicklaus at his best. Come on Mira, I want to get stuck in and see if you've got that full array of shots you've been telling me about. We're at the first, it's a 353 metre par 4 and I feel like I'm in Scotland and obviously having Mr Tom Long, the Director of Golf here at Kinlock with me, you're a Scotsman aren't you Tom? Absolutely, yeah just an English one. An English Scotsman, what are you doing in Taupo? Um, I married a Kiwi so I was fortunate enough to wind up here. So not a bad spot to, uh, to live now. And you've been here for four years? I've been here for seven years now. Seven years, yeah. So um, wound up here, back nine was still dirt. Um, the front nine had been seeded and uh, I only needed to see a few holes before I was sold on this golf course being absolutely magic. So um, yeah, I've seen a lot happen over seven years. 353 metre par four, but mate, it looks tight out there. What are we gonna do about it? The thing about Kenlock, I would say, if you don't come off the golf course mentally exhausted, your score's gonna blow out. It really is a thinking man's golf course. Jack was obviously probably the best meticulous strategic thinker out there. Few could argue that. He did win 18 majors. Um, and this golf course, he's really thought about every detail. So you've got to think on every single golf shot. It will challenge every level of golfer, but you'll certainly enjoy it. And what are we gonna play for today, Tom? Uh, I think we should play loser pace for the post-game counseling session. Well, so there's a lot of thinking going on. Gee, these uh, greens have got a few elephants in them, Tom. I have. I always say go on your gut instinct. Your initial read is normally your best here. Beautiful undulation. Come on, up you go. Yeah, not too bad. I'll just finish that off, mate. For the par. There we go. Excellent. Nice start. That's Don't a solid it. start. You should be happy with that. Love the way it's in the farm, you know, in the hillside. Oh, it's just the shadows at certain times of the day. It's just an amazing golf course to be out on. Doesn't matter how you're playing, it's just the scenery is just awesome. Golf shot, buddy. Right bunker. Great shot. Get the hole, mate. Get in. Oh. oh, overcooked. Unlucky, man. Great par, though. Solid par. I got out of jail. Oh, God. Wasn't that the best bunker shot you've ever seen? It was, uh, I'll take that every day of the week, though. <laughs>
I'm right. Shot. Too easy. Well played. Thanks, Mira. We're at the 15th. It's a 224 metre par three. Possibly one of the longest par threes in the world. And Tom, probably the signature hole on the course. Yeah, I think, Mira, with that in the background, the beautiful Lake Taupo, it'd be hard to argue that it isn't a signature hole. Beautiful par three. Normally plays into a bit of a breeze. Trouble left, trouble right, pretty much trouble wherever you look. It's quite an intimidating tee shot. If you make a three, fantastic score. If you walk off with a bogey, you haven't done anything wrong. Speaking so, of three, uh, mate, we've got three woods, both of us. Three woods, no point coming up short here. It's playing into a breeze today. So we've got a front trap there. And like I said, you don't want to be finishing short and left. It will hit a wall of wind today. So yeah, you want to take plenty of club here. Nearest the pin? Why not? All right, Mary, you're up. 10 bucks. Let's make it 20. Righto. Cockney gambler, huh? <laughs> oh, that's coming round. Oh. She's oh. looking good. Oh, it's gone a bit left. Tiny bit left. Oh, you've got onto that. Oh. Well, Tom, pin high, but I'm not on the green. I'm actually probably, what, seven or eight metres down to the left of the green. Yeah, there's a bit of elevation you've got to cope with here. Just make sure you get it up and give yourself a putt. Do you want me to tell you where the pin is? Yeah, can you give me All a right, line, no please? Give me two seconds. Straight over your head? Straight over. Pretty good, Mira. That won't hurt you. Well, Mira, no nearest the pin, but have a look at that view. Yeah, that's worth 20 bucks alone. Good shot, come in, come in, in the hole, get in. Ooh! Even with this putt, Tom, I still think you're two up, mate. Still, pressure's on. Oh, there we go. Straight in the middle, nice one. Three to play. The 16th, it's a par five and it's 521 metres and it's long. Tom Long. They've even named the hole after it. What's that about, Tom? Well, not quite, Mira, but um, this tee, sometimes we call it Tommy's tee because seven years ago, when the back nine was still under construction, Tracy May, who was the head of uh, construction for the Nicholas Group, gave me the honour of coming out, hitting balls off of the dirt just to see where the pro tee should be positioned on hole 16. So it's a pretty special tee box for me. So what do you reckon? Landing area about 300 out? Try and hit it 300 up the left hand side. You'll be fine for your second 300. shot. Let's see if I can do 250. <laughs> Beautiful. That's going to work. Soft draw up the middle. Nice. You've been following my lead, Tom. Well, I've got to keep up with you. You can pick that one up, Mirror. That was a great pitch shot. Undulating fairways, but the undulating greens can help you too, eh? Here we go. been here before. A few times. Hey, That's well, you, you can show me where the 17th is because we're, we're all square. All square. And I'm charging. I'm coming <laughs> back at you. I love it. Mirror, I heard you were in Rotorua. Welcome to Treetops. I'm Louis de Bievre. Louis, nice to meet you. And you. Come on in. Wow, look at this. This is very unique. This is the main hall of Treetops Lodge. As you can see, 
John Sachs, the owner, has used a lot of the natural building blocks that were found here on the site to build this stunning hall. There's native wood up there, is it? Absolutely. Big remove beams that were milled on site. What about these guys up on the chimney? Yes, well, those are the chamois and tar. You won't find them here, but they look good climbing in their natural environment on this beautiful native rock. And those fishing rods over there, what's the go there? They get a lot of use, and we might even go out and have a look at that ourselves uh, oh. when we go around the estate. So what I'd like to do with you is show you around. We have an amazing native forest estate of over a thousand hectares, and on it we have streams, trout, lakes, six different types of deer, um, wild boar, pheasants, you name it, and then of course all the native birds that you can imagine, and beautiful plant life for which New Zealand is rightfully famous. Here in your villa, you not only have the beautiful view, you have the lovely living room with bar area, fireplace, which flows through into the bathroom and bedroom area. Now your bedroom opens up to the outside as well, so you can enjoy the view with a cup of coffee from your bed in the morning. Look at that! Right in the middle! Oh, This is our archery course, it's a simulated course. The targets are, are life-size animals and uh, it's a fun family thing. Kids enjoy it, everyone gets competitive. What is um, that? <laughs> is that a stag? That's a stag. It's just that's a, a practice one. Stag. There's a running boar further in. Right. Um, that's real fun and takes a bit of skill. That's one of the last targets we have. Can we have a shot? Yeah, absolutely. Dave, you're the estate manager here at Treetops. <laughs> Where are we at the moment? <laughs> Well, we're right up a tree in my office. This is, this is my favourite spot at Treetops, really. Must be um, the best office in the world. Oh, it's fantastic. I reckon I've got the best office. The, the views out from here, see we're right up high and we can look down on, onto the game that is moving. We've got six species of deer, which is pretty unique. With, so whether you're a, a hunter or a non-hunter, it doesn't matter. People still love to come up here and yeah. share this, the nature with us like that. And seeing the deer move through like that is pretty fascinating. And what else are we going to see? Oh, look, we just saw a pheasant walk by then, didn't we? And, and there will be turkey, um, then your native species of birds as well, your, your pigeons and your tuis and all that sort of thing. And we can hear a, a cuckoo calling just right there. Did oh, you hear that, that noise? Yeah. And what are those things with the big horns we passed earlier? Oh, yeah, well, that's why I'm up a tree hut. <laughs> the, our, our water buffalo that roam free in the same area. So we've just got to be careful with that and just know where they are at any one time. One of the things that is fantastic about here is the walking trails. So in, some, in a lot of those trails are ideal for mountain biking. And so we've got 70 kilometres through the native forest of walking trails. Wow, so you really got it all, haven't you? Yeah, it's wonderful. If you want to get out outdoors, it's, yeah, it's ideal. Yeah. Louis, we've had a great time out on the estate. Now it's time to enjoy the rewards. Absolutely, Mira, and the rewards at dinner are just as important as the great day outside, whether it's at Kinloch or in the estate or helicoptering to White Island. Tonight we're starting with duck breast, and afterwards we're having venison rack from the estate. Cheers. Cheers. We've arrived at the 18th. It's a thinking man's finishing hole, and it's certainly a golfer's golf course. It's a 525 metre par five. Looks long, looks lots of water. Can we carry it? I tend to suggest that we try and hit one down the chute through the two bunkers. If you manage to do that, 
then the option is there to have a go in two. But realistically, for me, it's a three shot hole. So you've got to think about where you want to put your first shot, but more importantly, where you want to put your second shot and where you want that to finish. I mean, it is doable. We had Danny Lee play here um, a few years ago, and he actually took on the second trap on the right and he actually gunned one straight over the top of it. It was about 280 metres that he carried it to the fairway. I won't be taking that line. It's all square, so I'm playing it, thinking about it. Should I take that line? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, not today. That line's not bad, though. Oh, beautiful. Wheel mirror, 320 metre drive. Leaves you 195 out. We're all square. You're going to take it on, aren't you? Going to go on two, Tom. Can't get this far, I'm not going two. Well, Mira thinks he's the only one that's going for it in two, but I've hit this in a very similar position to where Danny Lee hit it. So I'm going to have a crack. Let's see what we do. Well, Mira. Great second shot, very accurate, just didn't quite have the guts. Yeah, whatever, mate. That false front, don't be short. Two putts for a birdie, mate. Oh, get in, get in! Oh, oh pretty good, you can have that one, mate. That was lovely. Thank nice, you. nice birdie. So I've got a putt for the win, eh? This is for the eagle, Tom, and the win. Oh, you got me, uh, hey, on the last. Thanks for showing me around Kinlock. What a beautiful golf course. You're welcome, you're welcome. Tom, you've been here seven years. You must love the place. I do, Mira, yeah. I think it's a, a very unique golf course. I love the golf course for a number of reasons, specifically because when you play this golf course, you can play it day in, day out, and you always get served up a different test of golf. You know, I mean, I've played it numerous times over seven years, and every single time I go out there, I'm still learning about the golf course. Did you learn something from me today? I learned a few things from you. I learned a few areas of the golf course that I hadn't really spent much time in, but um, no, I, I enjoyed it. And the, and the other thing that I think is fantastic about this golf course is, even though it's not a tree-lined golf course and it's more of the link style course, you tend to find that the, there are no two holes that run parallel with each other. So when you're out there, the course is laid out so that you're only really aware of the people you are playing with. You're not really aware of other golfers being out there. And that just makes it feel like it's your own slice of paradise, really. So mm. it's unique for a number of reasons. But yeah, I'd never get bored of teeing it up here every day. Well, other than just about beating you today, I really love treetops as well, the sister property. What an incredible experience and certainly another unique uh, angle on New Zealand that, you know, for the golf traveler, it's just fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, treetops is a beautiful piece of, of, of real estate and, and, and land, and it's, um, it, it pairs in really, really well with Kenlock. You know, it's got that same kind of, you know, your cutaway kind of feel where you feel like you're lost and you're away from all the troubles, and um, I, I think it's a pretty special piece of land. So to have that so close to, to where we are here, it's, it's a great marriage, really. Here's the Kenlock. Cheers. Enjoyed it. Come back. Well, there it is. I'm Andrew Miramaku. And I'm Tom Long. And thank you for watching Golf Getaway from the Kinlock Club. For more videos, special offers and information, go to golfgetaway.com.au or like us at facebook.com forward slash golfgetawaytv. Bye for now.